Uh, YouTube, so that is a video I got as my birthday gift from the girlfriend. Let's go. I got an Asus notebook PC laptop. It's a 4 gig RAM. The reason why I chose the 4 gig RAM is because I have another 4 gig RAM. I don't know if you guys gonna, if you guys can see. But yeah, it's a DDR3. And basically, we had got a Toshiba, but it kind of crashed on me. So, returning got an Asus. Pretty decent price. It comes with 500 gigs. It's an i5. It's an i5 core Intel system. Um, running off of 4000 graphics HD, something like that. Also, uh, comes with the HDMI port. You know, got some cool stuff in it. Also, um, it's a 4 gig RAM, like I said. I got this specifically like to do my YouTube stuff and to multitask, not really for gaming. So this is not really for gaming, but as they say, Aces builds great motherboards for gaming. So if anybody's thinking about making a gaming PC, I'm not an expert on it, but Aces do make great motherboards. So I definitely know some people who, you know, make great gaming PCs well over like at least $750 to like more to over 2000. So let's start opening this up and <clears throat> Basically, the price on this for the four gig RAM it was um four forty nine, and I was going to go with another Toshiba, but it's not an Intel system. It's actually a core. It's actually AMD A six series system, which they overheat and they do crash fast. But you see, an Intel system can last way longer, and it does not matter with the with it being hot or not. So yeah, that's another reason why I decided to just go with this. Well, plus tax, it came out to like, um, like a, let me get this water bottle, to like 489 But you see, if I would have got the 6 gig RAM, it would have came out to like 520 plus tax. So I figured, why well, go with the 6 gig RAM, 600 gigabytes, 600 gigs of memory, when I can simply just use my 4 gig chip, add it in with the other 4 gig that's already in here, make it 8 gigs with 500 gig RAM, or with 500 gig memory. And it'll be way cheaper. So let's go with this unboxing. I think I opened. I don't know if I opened it wrong. But yeah, and I'm recording. By the way, you guys, from my um, ask um, for my Galaxy Note 2, which is like great. So here we got the instructions. Um, and a little Aces book, a little warranty booklet, which I'm gonna keep because after what happened with my other laptop that I just recently got, well, I got like a week ago. Yeah, I was actually disappointed that it crashed on me like right away. So yeah, let me open up this pocket. I'm assuming this is like a charger. So yeah, this is I like I actually like the material of it and how it's like not like none of gay shit. Oh no camera. So and by the way, if you guys see this quality, the Galaxy Note 2 is so beast with camera effect with um with the clarity of the video. This is shooting right now at like 720p. So yeah, basically, hmm, it's not bad. See, for those of you who don't know, you always gotta pay attention to the watts. So basically, this is running at a 60 hertz with a 2.0. Wow, that's actually pretty. That charges actually batteries really fine. That that charge that would charge up the system really fast. Like, who for those of you who don't know, just like with iPhones and stuff like that, you always gotta go with a real. Oh, this, and this must be the battery. You always gotta go. You could uh, buy you like an iPad charger when you're using when you're charging an iPhone because iPod charges like five watts, but the iPad charges a ten and they charge up way faster. So yeah, this is the battery. Like I said, I'm not an expert with laptops, computers. I just know if an Intel system is better, like i7, i5, of course. And I guess it's like little notes and stuff. So let's see this battery. Oh, pretty small battery. I'm really feeling. Yeah, you see, and you see the Lion, Lylon battery pack. They make um iPhone battery packs. If you ever looked at your batteries, like if you ever opened up your iPhone, or looked at the, the uh, MacBooks, yeah, they make that. So yeah, they make and they make um very good batteries. So I kind of skipped ahead to op just to take out the plastic because it kind of got difficult. If you hear that noise in the background? We got a whole bunch of monkey assholes outside. So yeah, I love how this is looking. The Asus logo with this, you know, wanna be carbon fiber feeling. 
you know, got like little braille designs going straight ahead, which actually it feels really like nice, like honestly. And this is the thing about some people, like they really care about the textures of and the materials of how their laptop is made. That's what determines whether or not they feel their product is cheap or not. So let's look at the underside. Underside has a nice feeling to it too. And yes, it's definitely Windows 8. Um, after what happened with my Toshiba, I was, I'm not really feeling the whole Windows 8 per se. And before I actually, before I even turn it on, let's just lift up the, let me just move all this stuff out. So, oh, uh, definitely. And the other, another reason why I was really feeling the Aces was when I was looking at the display in Best Buy. I was really feeling the, the clarity of the screen too. So, uh, there's your notes. So as you guys can see, let me clear that up, you see? I'm telling you, this phone's camera is off the hook. Is it Intel's inside the core i5 with HDMI Energy Star? Yes, they had. Oh, my fingers are nasty. Um, yes, they had um i7s, but they were going for way too much, and I was really trying to save as well as try to buy something else. So that was really my main focus, and I'm gonna come back with another piece to show you of this video in a second. But for show, sure, definitely. I'm really feeling this little aluminum, you know, pad, along with the little one, the one space um, mouse keyboard, or well, the mouse clicker. Well, we all know there's the right, left. Oh, damn, this is smooth. This is nice. I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. So I'm actually open up the back, and basically, let's see. Yeah, like I said, basically, um. I'm going to unscrew this piece and, and this piece. And no, I'm not going to tell Best Buy if my laptop does get messed up by any chance internally. I'm not going to tell them I'm open the hell. I'm just get my refund and get another laptop. And this time I might put more money into it just in case. Because, like, honestly, nowadays when there's too much new models being made, such and such stuff, make it simple. Some There's a lot of the time to get defected. So I'm actually going to take this off. And I mean, I'm going to take this off and then shoot back on the video, you guys. All right, you guys. So basically... Hopefully, man, the RAM chip I have up and look, that's one screw. Really feeling this camera, and I know y'all see this. Oh, wait, did I even do it right? Damn, I just had it. I know you guys see. Oh, that was beast. Anyways, hopefully, man, my DDR3 RAM chip fits this. Usually, all the newer models all use the same thing. All DDR3 is the same. So... How do I open this? Like, what do I take it out from? Alright, so I'm gonna actually gonna try to open it and then I'm gonna shoot back. Yeah, so sorry about that, you guys. So basically, I'm back. We have all the parts. This is the hard drive, obviously. And this is where I'm gonna see if I fit the RAM chip. Thank you, God. This is a 4 gig. Please, I'm hoping this fits. Like, I really don't wanna go through a hassle of it not fitting. It is a 4 gig already. I'll show you guys. So this is what you gotta do, man. You go to like any uh, computer stores, you buy some RAM chips. Matter of fact, let me just put this back in. This is a four gig though. I can see it. You guys might not be able to because it's upside down. But yes, we're gonna pop in this one. For those of you who can't see, damn, look how clear this is, dude. Love this freaking camera. And we're gonna pop this in, and we're gonna hope. That it goes, man. Cause that's this, I just can't. This is gonna be bad luck if it doesn't go in. I don't know. It kind of went in too easy. I don't like that. All right. So wait, is there anything that I? Oh, okay. No, no, no. I did it right. All right. So plus, you gotta you gotta really like use your, like a little bit of strength to pop it in. But you also got to be careful at the same time and never put the battery, never have the battery in. Like, honestly, never have the battery in while you're trying to pop different RAM chips or anytime you're going to mess with anything back here. Basically, with the mother load of all the pieces, like the important parts, never do that because you can honestly defect the inside. Like, then you'll get some people get that. You know, no booting device memory. Like, you'll just get these weird errors that you're like, I don't understand. And then if you're lucky enough to, if you keep, you know, messing with it, then you'll get it. It'll go back to normal. But that you don't really want to do that because once it's messed up once, it messed up forever. And if you see my pretty toes, you already know. So, 
I'm going to pop these back in. So, yeah, like I said, it was a 4 gig. I didn't, like, really turn it on to show you guys that it was 4 gig. I did, like, a straight unboxing of it. Like, straight up. So. And, like, I'm really still bugged out over the camera. I know some people use, like, like I have a video camera, but I'm not going to use it just to do this quick unboxing. I just wanted, it was, like, what, almost 1 in the morning? I just got home. I was with my girlfriend all day. And, you know, she kind of felt bad that my laptop was messed up. So. All right, so now with the battery part of this, I'm gonna pop this in. All right, oh, that was easy enough. Now with this Asus, I love how this Asus body is looking. Like this Asus body is beautiful, honestly. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna hold. Imagine if this was dead, I'd be sick to my stomach. Alright, so let me use this. Another thing I like about this too, when it shoots at screens, it doesn't show like little swiggly lines and stuff. It it literally it's like clear. <clears throat> Once it loads up, I'll shoot back at the video, you guys. So I'll be back. By the way, uh I just wanted to show you guys this part like where I'm gonna be, you know, like doing the whole setup i just thought it was pretty cool like that this is like what i like about when i get new hardware especially like electronics like i'm an electronic geek like anything like that has to do with setting up and everything i just get excited whether it's cameras phones ps3s xboxes i just love the whole out of a fresh box customizing so once i do all this then i'll show you guys how everything looks so basically this is the windows 8 theme i know most of you are familiar with that I will be coming out with a video on how to hack the Windows um, store. I didn't sign in with my Microsoft account because I wanted to make this video way faster. And it was taking way too much time, honestly, with, like, um, setting up. So, yeah, I'm going to put up, like, definitely make a video of hacking the store. Like, get all the apps for free and stuff. But, yeah, look what it comes with. Preloaded Skype. comes with something, a game. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's probably some game. But before I even get into that, I just want to make note, it comes with Microsoft Office, it comes with a whole bunch, it comes with a little bit of good preloaded apps, you know what I mean? But that's not really what I'm focused on. Also, you know, this is the desktop loadout. Pretty satisfying, you got an Aces installed, as you know, all the preloaded stuff for Aces and stuff. So, I need to see what's this about. But yeah, that's basically it for... As far as I know, as far as we know, for the, you know, laptop itself. Let me just show you guys that now that my gig RAM is in. Let's see, go to properties. And it says the rating is this out of five, I think, or I don't know, but I'm going to have to redo all this. It comes with 2.60 gigahertz of CPU. It's an i5-320-3. 3,230 MCPU, Intel Core, I'm feeling this, um, basically I'm going to be setting this up so it could be good for, good for certain games, but also to do a lot of my Photoshop editing and a lot of my um, multitasking features, especially for my YouTube channel, so please, you know, you guys, I appreciate the support, and if... You know, that's it for the video. If any of you guys have a question about how I'm doing with this laptop, I'll let you guys know. Um, if you guys have any, like, questions on... Remember, I'm not a gaming freak with laptops when it comes to computer builds. I do know some people who build, like, awesome computers. So, if you have any questions, trust me, I'll get back to you quick because I know a lot of what you should get, what you could get, and how much you should spend. Um, if you want, you tell me exactly what kind of PC you want and what you want to use it for. I go to somebody I know who's who perf like who is who perfected who's a per who perfectionist at building gaming laptops and PCs. So and but if you want something basic or something to really multitask to YouTube to and also I got this for my HD PVR by the way. So if you guys ever want to do gaming recording, if you guys have any ideas, any questions about what kind of laptops, what, what kind of Intel system, what's a good graphics system for laptops to get. As far as a good price, you guys let me know. Definitely hit you guys up. Hope you enjoyed this little quick unboxing. It's something small, you know what I mean? 
especially coming from the aces i had to do it man so comment rate subscribe and any requests just let me know you guys email me message me and take care peace